tangent lines and trigonometric functions. Consider the function y equals to cos x plus sin x where x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equals to 2 pi. Find the points of the graph of the given function where the tangent is horizontal. So when we say tangent is horizontal, it, what does it mean? That means slope is 0, correct? Remember that part. So horizontal tangent means zero slope, right? So we're saying m equals to zero or zero slope, right? Let me write that here, zero slope. Now keep that in mind and then solve the question. So for slope equals to zero, we need to find the derivative, y dash, right? So let's differentiate this equation with respect to x. So we have our equation as y equals to cos x plus sin x. So derivative of this, that means dy dx, is equals to derivative of cos x, which is minus sin x, and derivative of sin x, which is cos x. So we get this. Now for horizontal tangent, dy dx should be equal to 0, right? Therefore, we could write this as 0 equals to minus sin x plus cos x. And we need to solve for x. So let's take sin x on the right side and we can write sin x equals to cos x. And let's divide both sides by cos x and then solve for it. So when I divide both sides by cos x, I get what? I get sin x over cos x equals to 1. This is dividing cos x on both sides. Or tan x equals to 1. Now when is tan x equals to 1? In this domain, 0 to 2 pi. So that is the question to be answered. So tan x, if you know the cost rule, that helps, right? Is positive in these two coordinates, right? And equal to 1 means we're talking about 45 degrees angle. That's true. So that's line when the angle is 45. Now what we're talking about limits, trigonometry, calculus. So it has to be in radians. So it read pi by 4. So that is one angle, which is in quadrant 1. In quadrant 2, the angle is 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, 4 pi by 4, and this is 5 pi by 4. I love this way of counting. So that is the other angle, right? So that is, I should do like this, 5 pi by 4. So these are the two possible answers for us, right? So we get x as equal to pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4, right? So at both these points, we'll have a horizontal tangent <coughs> since dy by dx is equal to 0. I hope that's absolutely clear. Now let's look into it once again. The question was that the given function y equals to cos x plus sin x within a domain of 0 to 2 pi has a horizontal tangent and we need to find those points. So the way to do it is find the derivative, equate it to 0. So now if I write dy dx equals to 0, that means horizontal tangent, correct? So we get minus sin x plus cos x equals to this value. So from here, we get the value of x. When we say points, we need to find the value of y also, right? So I was kind of forgetting it. Now it's good always to read and go back. So let's plug in pi by 4 and find the answer. So we get y equals to cos of pi by 4 plus sine of pi by 4, right? Now what is cos of pi by 4? So you can always revert back to special triangles were just like this. Equal sides for pi by 4 and the sides are 1, 1, square root 2. At times it's not a bad idea to use uh, square root 2, square root 2 and 2, right? So sometimes we also use sides as square root 2, square root 2 and this becomes 2 in that kind, right? This is better. You don't have to rationalize it. So either one will work for you actually. So let's use square root 2 over 2 
for cos x and sin x. Both are equal, right? So this is adjacent and perpendicular or the opposite are same for pi by 4, correct? So what we get here is 2 over square root 2 plus 2 over square root 2, right? That means 4 over square root. Okay, sorry, I wrote it wrong. Well, square root 2 over 2 I had to write, but I wrote something else. Okay, so it is square root 2 over 2 plus square root 2 over 2. That means 2 square root 2 over 2 or just square root 2. So we get our answer as... square root 2. So the point is, so one of the point is pi by 4 square root 2. How about the other point? Let's find out the other point and I'll use kind of, I'm running short of space here so I'll make some room, right? So we find the second point on this side. So we say y equals to cos of, second point is 5 pi by 4, 5 pi by 4 plus sine 5 pi by 4, right? Now, cos of 5 pi by 4, it is in third quadrant. In third quadrant, both cosine and sine are negative, right? So you get here negative square root 2 over 2, negative square root 2 over 2, right? When you add them up, you get negative square root 2. So therefore, our points are, let me write down now, the points are, let me write down here, pi by 4 and square root 2. And the other point is 5 pi by 4 minus square root 2. So at these two points, our function will have a horizontal tangent. I hope that's correct. And... I hope you appreciate the method. Now with this, uh, we'll now go into finding equations of tangent lines. And first thing always is to find the slope. And then once you know the point, you can find equation of tangent line also. So as an exercise, what you can do here is you can find equation of both the tangents, which are kind of horizontal. So you know the horizontal tangent line equation should be what? The y value, right? So y equals to square root 2 and y equals to minus of square root 2 are the two equations of the tangent line which you should get. Okay, thank you.